Welcome back to the Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Bryce, talking to you about you and your business. We're going to tie a small golf start on the program. And uh, he is, uh, brought an interesting study to my attention on uh, this whole idea on the case for hiring the insecure overachiever, particularly in the sales process. And uh, Matthias, I'm delighted to have you on the program. Thanks for calling us today, by the way, from Denmark. We're glad to have you on the program. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Yeah, when I do, I, I do kind of two different things. I do business and I do philosophy. So, so, so as of today, I'm CEO of an online company. We focus on ride sharing and, and peer-to-peer car rental in Denmark. That's kind of my business life. I was also a consultant with McKinsey. But, but apart from that, I'm, I'm a PhD in philosophy and I write books about more philosophical or existential themes. Uh, recently wrote a book called Don't Despair, Letters to a Modern Man. Well, and you sound like you're a little ADD. I'm sorry, I you didn't go through. <laughs> I said, I said, it sounds like you may be a little ADD with your uh, eclectic uh, interest in both uh, business and in philosophy. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, very good. So, tell us a little bit about the uh, this research and what led you to to do this research on the uh, overachieving, uh, although insecure, uh, personality. Yeah, exactly. I mean. I, I focus on this character who I call the insecure overachiever in, in, in this book, uh, Don't Despair. And, uh, and, and the reason why I'm interested in the topic is that, uh, you know, I joined McKinsey after graduating from, uh, from university. And there I realized that um, I was not the only one, both being an, a, an overachiever, but also being insecure. Actually, it, it was so institutionalized there that they would hire these kind of people that they coined this this notion, the insecure overachiever. It, it was a word they would, or a term we would use about ourselves. And, um, and, and, and I got like, interested in both, like, me personally, how can I live a life better being this insecure overachiever, and how can I maybe also help the other insecure overachievers around me, both keep being successful, but also finding a more balanced uh, life than, than the one that you often tend to live when you're both overachieving and, 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 and very insecure at the same time. I feel like it would be harder even more so for the insecure overachiever to uh, figure out how to find that balance, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. The, the thing is that, and, and that's something I've, I've been very interested in, is that often when you see very successful people, you'll think that they're very secure, you know, they, they're very self-confident. But actually lots of success is driven by your insecurity that you want to achieve something good so that you can prove to the world that you're a good person or, 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 or that, in fact, you are successful. So, um, so therefore, lots of hard work, lots of success is driven by the insecurity. And that's a good thing in itself. But the problem is that if you are fundamentally insecure, then it's very hard for you to be happy with your life. And, and, and therefore, you need a little bit of help often to, to find this balance. So it's both a good thing, in a way, to be the insecure overachiever, but, but you also need some help. You need other messages than just you have to be successful. You need to learn that there, there are other things in life to, to pursue than just your success. Yeah, very good. By the way, you have a book. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. I, I have Oh, sorry. I didn't you, you, you've got a book that's currently available. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, exactly. So this book, it consists of letters. It's letters written from a priest, an, an old Lutheran priest. I studied that tradition a lot as a philosopher. Uh, an old Lutheran priest writes letters to a modern career person. This modern career person, he's the insecure overachiever. He's been very successful, successful in his life, but one day his life falls apart. He's left his wife and, 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 and their child, leaves him because... Uh, it, it, it's, it's unbearable living with him. He only focuses on how can he become more and more successful. Life is never pleasant. It's never a joy. So he's left by his family, and he breaks down, and he's put on sick leave. And then he tries to find his way back in life, and he needs guidance there. And there I use the priest to send a message 
of something else than just you have to be successful in your business life. This is more a message of joy, like how can I find joy now? How can I stop worrying about whether I'm, a, I'm successful or not tomorrow or whether I'm more successful or not than other people I compare myself with? So it's a, it's a different message. It's a message of joy and courage that the priest sends to this, um, this, uh, this insecure overachiever. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm looking at your uh, at the website with information about yourself, and uh, if the listener goes to priceofbusiness.com, we'll have a link to it. Uh, but I'm looking at it, and I know there's some of the influences in there, but the one I don't see in there is uh, Max Weber. But I'm assuming uh, Max Weber kind of draws a little bit into your thinking as well. Exactly, exactly. I would say at a theoretical level, I'm very interested in Max Weber. I also write about Max Weber as a philosopher um, or as an academic, I would say, uh, about how Protestantism influenced our modern way of living. Uh, yeah. so, so that's a theory I'm very interested in. But at a more personal level, you know, it, it, it's a different story. Like, like how, can, how can you receive a message that would make you more happy being the insecure overachiever? being the, the successful modern career person who always strives for more success. And, and that is a discussion at a more existential and personal level. So Max Weber, that's more a theory about how Protestantism has shaped modern life. And then I'm also in this book, Don't Despair, trying to see, okay, what can I tell this modern person that, that would make life more pleasant, more enjoyable for him? So it's, mm-hmm. it's two different exercises for me in a way, the academic and the more existential uh, exercise, intellectual exercise. Yeah. So you, you're, you're thinking Weber may be just observing uh, the influence of Luther and, and uh, Protestant Christianity rather than being an influencer of it himself. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's been extremely influential, of course, as a, as a, as a thinker, and, and he's extremely interested, interesting also, a, a, a now-living Canadian philosopher, Charles Taylor, has done some very interesting studies on, 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 on the same topic. Uh, so, so in that sense, Max Weber is not alone, but it's still like one thing is theoretically or historically to say, okay, this, this tradition shaped our modern-day culture. But another question is, okay, that's fine and good, but what am I to do with myself being this modern? character, you know, where do I go and find help with living my life? That's a different question than theoretically sharing yeah. the history or historical I, impact of, the, of Christianity. I see that. Matthias Dostard, I appreciate so much your time. Do you have a website you want to refer, refer to a listener to? Well, if you go to uh, pinetripe.com, that, 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 uh, that's my publisher's website, pinetripe. They're called, that there you can read more about uh, the books, uh, both my book and, and also other Scandinavian books that they are, they are now yeah. promoting. When you get there, just look up Don't Despair, and uh, it'll pop up. Yeah. And uh, Matthias, thanks for your time. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. All right. To you. When we come back, much more for you. Do you want to remind you best content here? It does show up over there at usaperreview.com, and you're listening to the price of business.